A massive search and rescue effort is continuing in the North Atlantic. After a submersible exploring the wreck of the Titanic went missing deep under the ocean on Sunday. There are five people on board. Researchers aboard the Polar Prince, its mothership on the surface, lost contact with the crew shortly after the Titan began its dive. There is limited oxygen on board, and it is estimated that supplies are set to run out by around 10 o'clock Greenwich Mean Time, 6 o'clock Eastern Daylight Saving Time, on Thursday. The Polar Prince first arrived near the Titanic wreck on Sunday morning, and the Titan was launched at 8 o'clock local time. It was expected to resurface at 3 p.m. Contact was lost one hour and 45 minutes into its descent, at about 9.45 a.m. The Coast Guard said they were notified of the problem at about 5.45 p.m. It's eight hours later. The agency's command center in Boston then began coordinating search efforts. The Titanic wreck site is approximately 600 kilometers, 370 miles, off the coast of Newfoundland. A Canadian search plane picked up underwater noises on Tuesday and Wednesday. Deep-sea experts say it is hard to determine what these noises might be without seeing the data. But it is possible they could be short, sharp, relatively high-frequency noises, made from within the vessel by hitting a hard object against the end of the sub. The U.S. Coast Guard says it does not know what the noises are at this point. It says the U.S. Navy is analyzing the data, but so far it remains inconclusive. The U.S. Coast Guard has sent ROVs, remotely operated vehicles, to search under the surface in the area where sands have been detected. But so far, they have yielded negative results.